So the Argentinian president uh, has gone to the World Economic Forum much to the horror and dismay of many right-wingers on the internet. However, the moment that they heard his speech, uh, they changed their tune immediately and they thought that him going to the World Economic Forum was an amazing idea. So let's listen to his speech first and then we can make a couple of comments based on it. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Today I'm here to tell you that the Western world is in danger and it is endangered because those who are supposed to have to defend the values of the West are co-opted by a vision of the world that inexorably leads to socialism and thereby to poverty. Unfortunately, in recent decades, motivated by some well-meaning individuals willing to help others and others motivated by the wish to belong to a privileged caste, the main leaders of the Western world have abandoned the model of freedom for different versions of what we call collectivism. We're here to tell you that collectivist experiments are never the solution to the problems that afflict the citizens of the world. Rather, they are the root cause. Do Horrible speech. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all, and I will tell you why. The people at the World Economic Forum never claim that their ideas are going to improve anyone's life. Like, if you actually listen to the people that speak at the World Economic Forum, they are actively stating that, yes, like, their concepts and their principles are going to make your life shit. Like, they, they are actively saying that by making their agenda possible, you will revert to a feudal society, to, to a place that is even before the horse and the cart because the horse produces carbon. So, so when you go and you say, well, yeah, but like what you're doing is causing poverty. They're like, yeah, no, like we, we want it. Like the, we need to cause poverty because they believe the planet is dying. Like, like they genuinely convince themselves that the world is going to be over soon, right? It's like the end times are coming. And unless you make these changes, unless you impoverish everyone and unless they can control every single aspect of a person's private life, the, the world is over. So, so they justify the evil that they are doing for the greater good. So when you go there and you say, well, yeah, but like what you're doing is, is going to cause poverty, they don't give a shit. And it also matters on who says it. Like when Donald Trump went to the World Economic Forum and he said it, he basically attacked their entire ideology. He said, no, I don't think the planet is dying. So if the planet is a dying, then go fuck yourselves. Like everything you do is evil. Everything you, 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 you're trying to implement is for nothing. I'm not going to listen to you. That was a good speech. You're attacking their core ideology, number one. And number two, you're the president of the United States. I mean, the United States is a incredibly influential country in, in the world politics stage. So to have his president go down and, and lecture the people at World Economic Forum, they were absolutely seething. Which is why I don't think Donald Trump is ever going to be invited there. But when you are the president of Argentina, I mean, Argentina used to be an economic power someday, but now it's not. You know, it's like, oh, that that's so cute. That's adorable. The president of Argentina came here. Look, look at him. He's giving a speech. Oh, so, so they went, they, they shook his hand, they congratulated him, and that was that, right? Um, so... While I do think that the president was well-meaning and, and he tried to have like a speech to highlight his ideology, it's not effective because again, like if, if what they're saying is true, that the world is dying, then simply saying, oh, well, you know, you can rob a jewelry store and be wealthy before the apocalypse is coming. It's not very convincing, is it? Now, if I was there, I would have had a different speech. Since most of them are communists or communist adjacent, you would use that ideology to shape them and you'd make it about class. And you'd say that you guys are the bourgeois that is fighting against the worker, the average guy. You're trying to impoverish the average person to better but yourself while justifying it by saving the world. Like all of you guys are flying over here with private uh, jets and, and you all have like your private yachts. And you're creating more carbon than 
an entire village put together can create in their lifetime, and, and then you go and you lecture that village for not doing enough. Right, like you have Bill Gates, which is just pumping so much cardboard every time he flies with a private jet, right? And he goes out and says, oh, well, people need to be taxed more. He is the tallest man in the pool advocating for the water level to keep rising. So that would have been a, a, a great point that you could do. Another great point would be like, here's something else that I don't understand. You guys keep saying that uh, the world population should shrink. Like there's just too many humans. And when you look at the trends in Europe, you notice that the population is aging and there's just fewer and fewer Europeans, right? So like the population is in decline. So what you do then is you bring people from Africa and you encourage them to come into Europe through various NGOs, through various policies. You encourage politicians that do this. But how does it make sense? Like a person in Europe is producing far more carbon than a person in Africa. If you take a person that lives his life in a rural village in Africa and you, you, you put them into the heart of Paris and you give them welfare so that they can consume, their carbon footprint is going to exponentially increase to levels that wouldn't be possible for him had he stayed in Africa, right? So like if you're saving the planet, why are you encouraging this? Like when you see that the people that are having the largest footprint of carbon, that they're starting to decline in demographic. Why are you bringing more people in order to recreate the problem? How does that make sense? I thought you guys want to save the world. What are you doing? Can anyone explain why are you doing these things? Right? That would have been an interesting point. But unfortunately, again, uh, missed opportunity. Maybe he doesn't want to antagonize them. I, I don't know. Now, another thing which he could have done, and I'm very uh, sad that he didn't, would be to drive a wedge in the environmentalist movement. So the environmentalist movement, much like other movements, it, it has like its group of believers, like the, the core, you know, the, the, the bread and butter of environmentalists. But it also has the radicals, the extremists. And what you want to do is to create friction between the extremists and the average people. So... The average people are like, well, you know, maybe we can ride the bicycle. Um, maybe we should be vegan. You know, like, like that type of thing. The extremists are like, we need to get the human population under control. We need to have uh, lower numbers of human beings on the planet. Don't have kids. You know, like it's, it's that level of anti-humanist behavior. A and the way you can drive a wedge is to expose the extremists by saying... Okay, so like you guys uh, want us to protect the planet, right? Because you think that the planet is dying. But you don't want us to have children. So who are we protecting the planet for? Because even if you have like the, the climate change, and let's say that all humans die out, like the animals still survive. Like You still have animals that adapt to the changes and whatnot. So, so like if you're not saving it for humans, who are you saving it for? And this would force them to, to even approach the subject. And by approaching the subject, if they would say something like, well, of course we want people to have kids and blah, blah, blah. Oh, you're, you're now getting the extremists to attack the ranks of the, 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 the average environmentalists. And the average environmentalists, when they see how aggressive the extremists are, they're like, oh, wow, I'm actually part of this ideology. right? So, so you could have driven a wedge by saying that. But instead, what we got is a speech which is saying that capitalism creates wealth. And I don't think anyone at the World Economic Forum disagrees. In, in fact, that's why they're not even framing the argument as if their solution generates wealth. Because they know. I mean, you know, outside of some LARPers on Twitter and maybe some political commentators on Twitch... Most of the world is vehemently aware that, yeah, like capitalism is good for the people. Like, like it, it creates wealth, it generates wealth. Like this is not even debatable after the fall of the Soviet Union. So, so that's why they're not even talking about that. They're like, oh, well, the world is ending. Just give us all the power in the world. Uh, allow us to destroy your privacy and supervise you and, and monitor your transactions and, and replace you with AI. And, and hopefully... You also don't consider having a lot of kids. And we're going to save the world. That's their argument, right? So you need to tackle that. 
Um, but let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.